Ne 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 Nicka. I'm sorry. Nickelodeon. I I had I had to finish it off, even though Nickelodeon got some shit going on with with that whole with the fat nigga. But hey, how you doing? Negroes and Pegros and Wegros. Caucasians. Crackles. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm playing. I'm not, I'm not. Fuck it. It's a joke. Fuck y'all. But, uh, what's good? It's your boy, it's your boy, Max 716. And today, today, patty cake, patty cake. Who has the patty cake? I do. And I have that Glock. Like Kamala. But, uh, what's good, y'all boys? Max 716. And today, we're reacting, of course. And we're reacting to a strip club Swix 16 for Marlon's daughter. Extreme cheapskates. A Sweet 16 strip club. Father of the year. But, uh, we're, let's gonna see. Let's see. I don't even. It's a, it's a whole lot of shit. It's extreme cheapskates. And it's a. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna watch it. And we're gonna watch it together. Of course. Like, comment, subscribe. And let's do it. All right. The ladies at home leave the lights on all day and all night. So what I like to do is just tape it up. Now you know you're breaking the rules. As Houston residents, Marlon Thomas and his family face Michael Michael Jeffrey Jordan. The 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 cheap Michael Jeffrey Jordan. That's what the fuck this I don't know who to call him. DMX, Gary Payton. I don't know who who the fuck to call him, but he's somebody. That's some cheap ass shit. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. The light bill is expensive. I ain't gonna lie. The light bill do be kicking ass, but shit. You gonna tape it up, nigga? Come on. Yeah, some of the highest you electricity bills back. in the country. So to cut costs, this husband and father of two sets strict rules on household energy use. Oh, My dad wants to save money just like anybody else, but he just goes to an extreme doing it. At nine o'clock. I shut down the breakers because these guys like to leave the TV on, the radio, the stereo, and by me shutting the breaker off, I'm roughly saving about $100 a month on the electric bill. Around here is just a rule. I mean, if they don't like it, they don't like it. I'm paying the bills around here, so, hey, it's 9 o'clock. It's time for the breaker to go off. I feel like I'm going I respect it, though. He not, this not, oh, this not OD cheap. It's not cheap at all, honestly. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, them bills be kicking ass. I ain't gonna lie. But this was like back in the day. So it was like, I mean, you is kind of cheap though because bills back then wasn't how it is now. So you is cheap, Gary Payton. Going crazy because I don't know anyone in America that is doing that. My dad is an extreme penny pincher. It's kind of like Man, fighting the, whole the cookie monster for a cookie. Damn. Like, can I get a little bit? By enforcing strict rules in his house, Marlon keeps utility costs to a minimum. But it's his job at the firehouse where he finds real savings. Marlon is the cheapest person that I've ever met in my life. He does a lot of stuff that I would do at home here at the station. The dishwasher is half empty again. I bring my own dishes because this is just a waste. Why wash half a load when you can wash a full load? Never. Tuesday, we have to clean out the refrigerator. So guys leave food in here all the time. So what I do, instead of buying dinner, I take this home. Nigga, what the fuck? You don't know who the fuck made that shit. You don't know who, if they wash their hands, you don't know nothing, gango. You just pick a shit out the fridge and eating it? You not struggling that. Nigga, you're a fighter fighter. Nigga, you fight fires. You ain't going through that much for you to be doing shit like that. You wildin'. You wildin'. Oh, one more day. It's good. Black Lex Luthor, you If I don't clean out the refrigerator, people are gonna live perfectly good. Hello? I'm back. My bad. People be calling me. I'm, I'm an important nigga. I'm playing. I'm sorry. Let's get back to it. Good food go to waste. Well, it tastes better today. By stockpiling free firehouse leftovers, Marlon saves over $400 a month. 
I do not yeah, like to I eat mean, leftovers from the fire station. I love all the guys at the fire station, but I don't really know who's cooking the food. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. He it looked like he bit that fucking chicken. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. As a father, even though I'm not a father, fuck them kids. But even like as a father, like I'm look I'm talking about DMX right there. I'm talking about him. He died wildin' though, bro. You're supposed to be like the provider, the protector of your kids, and you're not supposed to feed your kids anything just because you want to save money. You're not gonna die with money. This is what motherfuckers don't understand. You can't die with this fucking money, folks. You can do whatever you want to do to save as much money as you want, but you can't die with that shit. Once you dead, you dead, nigga. Spend that fucking cash. Fuck it, you want? Spend that cash, nigga. Spend some cash and make some more, nigga. Get 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 more money. Fuck. Stop being cheap. Just get more money. Jordan. This is Michelle. Tyrone. It's time to eat. Uh, Let's go, guys. Shit. We don't even cook the food. We just have leftovers and leftovers. And who lives off of leftovers? I have gotten sick at least three times from food he's brought home from yeah, the fire station. Start, and you, and you go like it was that. coming from both ends. Very, very sick. Here's my thing, bitch. As a, as a, as a wife, what are you doing? Because there's a reason why he's bringing leftovers. You not cooking. Either you not cooking or you can't cook. Because there's no way in hell he, he supposed to be bringing leftovers from other niggas' houses to your house for y'all to eat like y'all homeless. Fuck are you doing as a wife? Hmm, Tony Braxton? Huh, Prince? E. Kane? What are you doing? Must be pretty good. Nobody's talking. I admire the fact that he wants to save money, but sometimes he just takes it overboard. My youngest daughter, Essence, has a special birthday coming up. We would like to give her a nice party and let her enjoy being 16. So you have the venue, the food, the DJ, and decorations. We need decorations. And a gift on top of that? Sweet 16 only comes once. I think we can splurge just a little on our sweet 16th birthday party. I want to have a party at the firehouse. No, we always do something, pretty much the same thing every year at the firehouse. We want to do something different this year. I would want to go to a place with loud music, food, where my friends can just dance and have a fun time. We're, we're on a budget. Okay. okay. Essence, you're going to have to understand that we're on a budget. You're a fighter fighter, nigga. What's the point? Essence has a sweet 16th birthday about to come up. And I've searched all over Houston to find a venue that was in my budget. Oh, hell no, Marlon. Let's get out and check it out, guys. No. We got a good deal on this place. Absolutely Gold diggers. Not. What does that this mean? Was the Essence, right here. This is a strip bar. It's not open. No, you have my birthday at a strip club. I have friends that's coming in dresses and stuff. No. Let's Marlon. check it out. No. Don't knock it till you try it. Wow, I'm thick as grits, though. The, the Duke's them, Duke's them grit, thick as a, thick as shit. Got me stuttering. I can't even talk. Thickiana. The thick mouth. It's always the motherfuckers with the, with the short hair. The thick as shit. I think that's why they got short hair. So the ass could pop more. She got some junk in the trunk. Whoa. It okay. smells. They have it's ridiculous and it's inappropriate. Oh, it just was not what I thought Marlon would do for a venue. I'm turning 16 and we're at a strip club. It's okay. During the day, there's not going to be Marlon. any strippers. Marlon, no. I do have some reservations about having Essence party at a strip club, but they had everything they wanted and the price was right. This is unacceptable. This is a strip club. She's having a sweet 16 birthday party. Sweet 16, girl, right here in the red. Ew. Velvet? Velvet. I don't want my friends to talk about me, and they're going to talk about me if they come up in here looking like this. They're not going to even know. There's a pole right there. What you mean? The pole will have decorations. They're not going to even see it. You can smell it in the air. The no, you club. can't smell it. There's lots of other venues we could have tried. I'm pretty sure of it. You I've tried them. I've tried them. Other places were like $1,000, and that's more than our whole budget. These guys are going to give it to me for a couple of hundred dollars. Marlon, this is going above and beyond your cheapness. This has everything you ask for. A dance floor, place to sit. You have a great DJ booth over there. It's going to be awesome. Just give it a chance. <sighs> it was kind of surprising somebody would actually want to host a Sweet 16 party here. Kind of different. Thought, what the heck. I know this is a strip club. 
But let's look at it this way. What you're getting is a great deal because we're not open during the daytime. I understand there's a pole in there, but what regular club don't have a pole? The place is going to be all yours. Nobody has to really know that it's a strip club. See, that sounds great. <laughs> This will go down in history books as one of his cheapest moments in the history in our family. It's crazy how it's crazy how she was just talking Michael Jordan head off, but then when Jacquees come around the corner, she just <laughs> bitches ain't bitch, bitch is something else. Bitch is something else. While the venue may be one of Marlon's most extreme cost-saving measures, it doesn't mean he's willing to splurge in other areas. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna get us to essence for a 16th birthday. Oh, God. She's not going to want this. I'm telling you that right now. I don't want to give Essence a new car because I can save just, a lot of money just by just giving her wilding, my 1995 he, sedan. Why ain't nobody Essence changed their clothes yet? Drop at school in this. She's definitely not going to want to drive this. That was before the paint job, baby. This is the hottest thing. Matt Black. Paint job? Yes. Marlon, please. Just like new, baby. Like, just Matt, like Matt, new. Matt Black oh, my is, gosh. Is, is, is hot After shit. spending just $250 for the party essentials, Marlon has managed to come in under budget for one of the least expensive Sweet 16 birthdays ever. Two hundred. Thanks for coming out. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. I can't believe my dad even booked this venue. My sister, I think she's glad that her friends are here, but at the same time, it's just like I know she's embarrassed because I'm embarrassed for her. What the fuck? These are the these are the meal choices. What is, is those olives in the middle or the or beans? What the fuck is going? On? We have pepperonis, another a different type of pepperonis, and two different cheeses and some crackers. I'm telling you this right now. This is this is this is a, a a a hell of a time on the toilet, especially if you lactose intolerant. You are gonna have a hell of a time with spicy shit, and that's pepper jack cheese. That's a spicy shit, a spicy dookie, hot dookie. I think the party is a blast. People are having fun. Oh, look who changed their clothes. Good food, good music. The guys did a wonderful job decorating. Saved me a lot of money. I've have. Some of my friends give me that look, like, why are we at a ship club? But so far, I really don't care. Happy birthday, Essence! Do you, like Do you see the pole? I mean, there's a, there's a pole in a Sweet 16 birthday party. We're about to go outside and take a look at a big, big surprise. One, two, three, surprise! You are definitely a, a, a t look. She laughing. Look, she over there laughing and shit. Look at her. They laughing. She got some titties though. Look at her. But as a as a dad, you ain't shit. Um, Gary Payton. You ain't shit. You ain't shit, Gary Payton, DMX, Michael Jordan. You you're a lot of niggas. You're just bald. But I don't like you. I wouldn't do my I wouldn't do my daughter like this. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You die an asshole, gang. I, I would have splurged on my daughter, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck it. I'll make that money back. You're a terrible dad. I don't know if I will ever change my cheapskate ways. Come on, let's go for it. Come on, she yeah. yeah. You got a fresh new paint job? I think Marlon could change if God came down and told him to. He would change. <laughs> Most of your friends don't even have a car. It's gonna be a tough road for the Lord. It'll be tough. <laughs> That's real shit. Happy birthday. You got a car. He had to spray paint her shit though. He like wildin', bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He's a terrible father. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I mean, you're not a terrible father in the sense of like providing and protecting your kids, but like making your kids happy and like just being a good dad in that way. You're fucking terrible. You suck. You made it happen, but you fucking suck. Gary Payton, DMX, Michael Jordan, whoever you are, Tyrese, suck. But, um, you know that, oh, um, what's his name? Keenan Waynes, you know, because he ball too. Fuck it. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of that. Um, that's the end of that. Um, I ain't gonna lie, he top five cheap. 
He top five cheapest motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie. We just see some cheap motherfuckers on this on this channel, but shit. That nigga cheap. Uh but uh Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and this will be everlasting I don't know what the fuck wrong with me. But see you next time, nigga. Later on, tomorrow, whatever. See ya. Nigga. Alright. Are you ready or not? Let's get it started. I had that shit for the loaf. That's what they wanted. I told her I'm happy to see you, but that's a Glock in my pocket. This is not R&B. We a pop you.